Hey kids, Miss Squire here. Today we are going to do some art for steam. So we just read that story all about the flamingo and why they mo spend most of their time on one foot um, to keep their bodies um, warm. So you're gonna make this cute little flamingo. Look at this guy. Okay, so for this project, you are going to need paper. Pink paper is preferred, but if you just have white, you can always color it. Scrap yellow paper, you don't need very much of that. Straws, or you can always use paper for the legs. And you'll need a pencil, some crayons or markers, scissors, tape, or and glue. So, first thing you're gonna do with your paper is you're gonna take it and just fold it in half like you were making a card. And just feel it by pressing down on it. So you have your paper like this and you're gonna keep it folded. So pay attention closely. So one side is open and one is folded. On that folded side, you're gonna put your hand right there. And my hand is a little big, your hand should fit a lot better on there. But you want your wrist to be on the fold. If you don't put your, if you put it this way, the opposite way, you're gonna have some problems when doing it, okay? So, Make sure your hand is, your wrist is on the fold when you're tracing your hand. So trace your fingers. And you kind of want to have your fingers together for this part, not so spread apart, all right? This is going to be your wings. And um, then you're going to cut it out and make sure again, your fold is here on the bottom and your fingers are up at the open side. And then you cut around and cut it out. Cut all along your fingers. And I will show you it in just a minute here. because um, my fingers went off the paper, but yours should work out a lot better with smaller hands. So then when you open it, you've got your wings and they flap like so. If for some reason um, you accidentally did it wrong and it ended up with two hands, that's because you did not cut, you cut along the uh, wrong side. So just redo it and try again. All right, so now you've got that part. We're gonna go ahead and add the legs. And the easiest way to do this is I took two straws. So one is gonna just remain long like this and we're not gonna cut it at all. So let's do that and then we're gonna tape it on. Let's get the first leg on there. And I put the bendy side on the bottom that way you could bend the foot. And then the, take your other straw and you're gonna cut this one. Just snip a little bit off the top. Make sure you leave the bendy side for the foot. And you're gonna take a little tape and tape that one on next to your long one. And then you can pull it out and move your foot. So now you've got your two skinny legs for your flamingo. All right, then we've gotta make the neck and the head. So for this, all I did was I made kind of a cane shape. And for mine, since it's facing this way, I want my cane to be out here, okay? So I'm just gonna draw a long, skinny cane. And I'll show you it here in a second. If you make a mistake, that's the beauty of using a pencil for this part. So I just made a long skinny cane, simple as that. Then go ahead and cut that out. And there it is. So then I attach that right onto my wings like this. So then I take my glue, put a little glue on the bottom, 
not too much, a little bit of glue goes a long way. Then stick that right on the back. You want the glue side to be on the back with the tape, okay, so nobody sees it. There you go, you got the head. Now, of course, we've got to add our face. And I can see a little bit of pencil lines, so that bothered me a little bit, so I'm going to erase that. If you don't mind about that, you can always just leave it. All right, then I'm gonna take a color for the eyes. It doesn't matter what color you draw a little eye here. Okay. And then we're gonna draw, make the beak with some yellow paper. I just have a scrap paper. Okay, so what I did is the easiest way here is I take the corner of a paper and I just snip it, okay? Just snip it. And then test it on your paper and if it's too um, big or too small, you can always cut off a little bit more. Put a little glue on the back of it and add it right there for your beak. Okay, and there you have it. Your cute little flamingo. And this could do as a card if you wanted to make it for a card for somebody. Um, but there you got it, your cute little flamingo. All right, I hope you have fun, guys. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.